Hello everyone and welcome back. Today I'm going to go through the 12 books I've chosen off my shelves to reread in 2021. I try and do this every single year because otherwise I'm really really bad at rereading books and I should reread more. I've tried to have a little bit of a theme this year but not completely. I've got two completed trilogies to reread and I have three trilogies where I've owned and read the first two books one of them I've read the third book but don't own it and two of them I don't own the third book and I haven't read it. It's, it's, yeah. Uh, so the first trilogy is the Bill Hodges trilogy from Stephen King because I realised that with Stephen King month and the fact that I have already read pretty much everything there's just a few odds and strange things that I don't own. I, I need to be building Stephen King into my reread list. So there's Mr. Mercedes, there's oh, Finders Keepers, and there's End of Watch. We start off with Mr. Mercedes where Bill Hodges is investigating a nasty incident where someone has run over a crowd with a stolen Mercedes and then it just kind of goes from there. I wasn't quite sure the first time I read Mr. Mercedes. I think I've only read it once. It seemed quite hesitant compared to his normal stuff because it is a pure mystery crime novel. Stephen King being Stephen King could not leave the paranormal shit alone so it kind of moves on through the trilogy. Some of my favourite Stephen King characters are in this trilogy so I'm really looking forward to marathoning it and seeing what I think this time round. I think I've reviewed all three already. But these are quite heavy, so I'm going to pop these down. A reread of a book that I don't think I've read since before I started doing BookTube. And every year I tell myself, oh yeah, I'll reread it this year. And because I don't put it on my challenge, I don't get around to it. It's Lord of the Rings. This is one of my favourite trilogies. I know, I know it was supposed to be one book, but it's published in the modern world as a trilogy. So I've got these uh, Voyager Classic editions that I got from a second-hand bookshop. So Fellowship of the Ring, The Two Towers and Return of the King. So I am going to reread Lord of the Rings this year and probably watch the extended editions for the 2000th time again. Do I need to tell you what Lord of the Rings is about? I don't think I do. Then the trilogy where I own the first two books and have read the third book but don't own it but I'm planning on buying it so I would like to reread the entire trilogy straight through. That's The Book of the Ancestor by Mark Lawrence starting with Red Sister, Going to Grey Sister and the final book is Holy Sister. This is Assassin Nuns. I really enjoyed the first two books but it's one of those trilogies like the other two I'm going to show you that there's details that, because I read them so spread out, I'll pick up more if I can just marathon them all the way through. So there's that one. I will buy Holy Sister. I read it, I read it as a library book before because I was just browsing there and I found it. So I finished the trilogy, but I think I'll appreciate it more if I can read them straight through. So the next trilogy, um, well, the next two trilogies are exactly the same sort of thing. I really enjoyed the first two books but there's so much detail that I would miss if I just picked up book three and d went straight into that one without doing a reread. The first one of these is The Raven's Mark by Ed MacDonald and that starts with Blackwing and goes on to Raven Cry. This was such a good fantasy series. Um, I really, really enjoyed this world. I'll just read you the back of book one. Only three kinds of people willingly enter the misery. The desperate, the stupid and the greedy. The misery is a wasteland, a dangerous corrupted frontier between the Republic and Deep Kings. When traitors, thieves and spies try to flee they run for the misery. And often as not is Captain Reihalt Galharrow's job to bring them to heel beneath the fractured skies. Provided they haven't already fallen prey to the twisted creatures that inhabit the shifting polluted sands. It's a deadly place, even for a man of Gal Harrow's experience. So that whole misery is such, uh, it's so well described, it's so creepy, everything about it feels wrong and I really want to know how the trilogy finishes 
but I wouldn't do it any justice. The final book is Crowfall. I will be buying it soon. The final set of books is, I don't know what the trilogy is called actually, but it starts with Oryx and Crake and then goes to The Year of the Flood by Margaret Atwood. The third book is Mad Adam. I want to say it's called the Mad Adam trilogy, but I'm not sure. It's post-apocalyptic, but there's a lot of bioengineering and technology and all sorts. There's genetically engineered pigs. Uh, it's it's a lot and I definitely need to reread both of these to understand what would be going on in Mad Adam. But I do remember really enjoying Oryx and Crake and I remember nothing of the Year of the Flood. So again I need to buy Mad Adam but I will be once I get to reading these. So those are the 12 books that I'm planning on rereading in 2021. Have you got any rereads plans? I would love to know. Thanks for watching and I shall see you all soon.